All right, here we go with DuckTales episode 13, Spies in Their Eyes. Starts off on this, uh, it's like a submarine next to a aircraft carrier. Uh, and here's this Captain Duck. He's got these, uh, he's got these novelty binoculars. He probably uses novelty, uh, giant sunglasses and giant novelty comb as well. Donald's, uh, rubbing up against this periscope. And all of a sudden the alarm goes off. There's trouble. Uh, so the captain gets to the top of the, starts to get in the submarine. He's got legs too little to support his body. Guy below him's trying to figure out, uh, what choices he made in life to end up where he is. Uh, so Donald gets the bends, DuckTales crotch shot, uh, and then uh, Donald goes catatonic because uh, he he can't believe what's going on on the submarine. He's seeing some heinous stuff. And then Herbie from Fantastic Four shows up and shoots a little laser out of his eye. Luckily, uh, the ship has a target on it, which uh, is uh, convenient for Herbie, bad for the ship because it explodes and kills everyone on board. Uh, Donald busts out his, his old character uh, bucket butt and then the captain leaves see his legs are just too little for him and he turns around and goes shh there's a, this is a, like a progressive don't ask don't tell episode it deals with a lot of well you'll see it just deals with a lot of stuff very ahead of its time so they go to Singapore and they're like alright we get shore leave uh, so they go to hang out with these non-racist uh, dogs and uh, here the boys are talking crap behind this little rickshaw guy's back all of a sudden this little this little pig, this pig flasher shows up Looks like uh, the fat Cenobite with glasses from Hellraiser. Uh, and then this wonky-eyed duck is in the back. She talks like uh, Natasha from uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle, superior cartoon. Uh, so Donald takes a stroll through non, non-racist, non non-stereotypical uh, Singapore street. It's on the corner of uh, stereotype and racism. Uh, we find out that this one duck can hypnotize with her eyes. So Donald starts stealing souls with his soul camera again. He's flashing them everywhere. Uh, he starts hitting on some fish, takes a picture of them. They're just crudely and angrily drawn. Very disturbing. Uh, steals the boy's souls with his camera. And then, uh, yeah, Donald and, uh, it cuts to a scene where Donald and, uh, Scrooge just make out for a long time. And then they have this long bender, and it cuts the end of it. Scrooge is drunk, and he's like, look, we don't got to tell people about what happened. Right, buddy? And Donald, he's, he's unsure of himself anymore. So he leaves. He, he, he takes a skip away next to the, the walk sign in the strip club. And uh, all of a sudden, he remembers what happened with Uncle Scrooge, and he just goes catatonic. Just for a long time, he, he just he can't deal with what he's done. Uh, he goes crazy, tries to make things better by putting a computer on his head and plugging in his eyeballs. Uh, and he he dances. And uh, then he shows up at the swingers club, still catatonic. All these flashers are there. Got their trench coats on. Uh, so Donald, Donald gives his computer over to this flasher. And uh, the flasher in turn gives evidence of what he's done with his uncle to uh, to the hypnotist duck lady. And Donald thinks everything's saved, like he, he figures he could deal with it, but then he gets arrested for lewd and lascivious conduct in Singapore. Uh, so then uh, this this duck captain says that he's got proof of what happened between Scrooge and Donald, so he gives him the pictures, the evidence. The boys see it. They can't believe it. Uh, so the Scrooge goes to visit Donald in jail, tells him he'll be all right. Donald says he'll never get out of there. Scrooge explains that the bars are far enough apart he could just walk out if he wanted uh, and the boys tell their their uncle that th- they're not ashamed of him. They still love him, which is a really sweet scene. But then the dog just makes light of it and just teases them. Goes on for about twenty minutes. He's saying, you know, just making fun of their situation. Uh, so then they go back to the swingers club, and uh, one of the flashers offers fifty bucks for a night with Huey, Dewey, or Louie, and the most uh, like ent- and and <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to say that word at this time of night. The most business like of uh, the three of them accepts the fifty dollars for him. Uh, so then, uh, hypnotist duck's got these uh, back problems. So Scrooge says, "Well, here, I'll uh, make you feel better. I'll sit down." And then Mike Nichols starts directing it, cuts this little strip club scene from closer. And then Scrooge doesn't want to be seen doing something bad again, so he puts on his Elton John glasses and busts into a rendition of "Goodbye Yellow Brick Road." Uh, it's not going well. So hypnotist duck flips a switch, seat falls out from under him. He falls, but the glasses stay, and they do uh, Honky Cat. 
Uh, Scrooge falls into a pit and he gets his neck snapped. He's dead forever. Uh, turns out that the uh, the proof that the flasher duck gave hypnotist duck earlier was fake. She knows it's not by testing the validity of it, but because it says fake document on it. Uh, Huey, Dewey, or Louie's mad. He got sold into sex slavery, so he goes to confront his brother that sold him about it. The brother's like, oh, I know how to fix this problem. Just flip this whole switch. Boys disappear, but then he feels bad, so he dives in after him. They end up in the anthrax room. Uh, and then this non-racist duck says he's going to chop a suey uh, Scrooge. Uh, his words, not mine. And the boys show up with their anthrax, and they fight him off. So then they're all friends. He laughs. He's They're all guilty about it. They feel bad. Scrooge decides to make amends the only way he knows how, by offering himself. Hypnotist Duck says, you know, we could just talk about it instead of doing stuff. But it's too late. They are started. Scrooge is caught in the act. So he feels guilty about it. Everyone laughs. They get a good chuckle out of it. Meanwhile, back in the Navy, everyone's drunk from their bender in Singapore. Uh, Donald goes, hey. Uh, so then uh, the captain says, hey, don't feel bad. See, I like ballet. Everyone can do uh, stuff every now and then. It's it's just implied. It, they don't outright say it. Then the submarine comes to life. It's got these screens that make sense. One's an explosion. The other one just shows electricity. Uh, and uh, it takes off. Donald says he'll stop it because it's gone haywire. So he leaps to his death off of an aircraft carrier, lands on it, and then he he uh, goes down to his death like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in the end of Terminator 2 with pride. Uh, so then the the little Herbie submarine decides it's going to get revenge on people. So it uh it blasts some uh some rockets and stuff out and starts shooting laser beams, trying to kill Scrooge, who's for some reason gone on a cruise with Hypnotist Duck. He knows the missiles are going to hit him, so he tries to distract their heat-seeking signature by pushing the Hypnotist Duck to her death. He pushes her in the water. He looks real angry about it. And uh, he's happy because he's going to murder her and get away with his life. But uh, the missiles miss and they hit the island and explode. Everyone's happy. Uh, all those people are dead. So Scrooge confronts the flasher pig. He gets the proof of what he did with Donald back. Everyone's getting their copies of the pictures. They tear them up. And uh, they very cleverly say, you know, what happens in Singapore stays in Singapore. No one's going to talk about it again. And uh, all the evidence floats up in the air and uh, flies back over the city of Singapore, polluting it even more uh, than they did with their racism. So there you go. Progressive DuckTales episode. Not racist, not homophobic at all. Uh, enjoy. Uh, I'm going to go to bed and regret this. <laughs>